it's Jenny welcome to another process video I am just showing you some bits and pieces that I'm working with today so I have got some project cards project life cards from the Chamel collection and a few other little bits and pieces from her collection as well a few rub-ons and a sticker book and the 6x6 paper pad and that um, stripy piece of paper that I put aside what I'm going to bring in is a piece out of the Heidi, a Heidi Swap um, 12 by 12 notepad. So this Project Life collection doesn't say on the box, doesn't say Chamel. So there's nothing that would um, let me know that it was actually her collection, apart from the fact that the pictures were very similar to the paper pads that I had bought from her. So I knew that it was her collection. So if you are after that, um, mini project life box the um, collection is called lovely edition and that is the Chamel collection so at the moment um, I have pulled a few project life cards and I'm actually making a little bit of a grid design on this um, pink piece of paper that I just had in my stash and I'm using that as a bit of a photo mat so I'm just grabbing my corner chomper and rounding the corners and of course sometimes they don't round perfectly and you have to go back in there and um, round them a few times so I'm just cutting off the excess from that photo mat and I will add that there's that pink paper so it's a, a lovely um, rose pink and white stripe on the diagonal so it's quite a cute bit of paper and so I'm just trimming off a quarter of an inch off two sides and matting that onto this pink paper as well. So this pink paper is a very, it's not a cardstock, it's a very thin piece of um, paper that I would have had in my stash for literally years. So it's good to use up a couple of pieces of that one. So just committing to getting this one down. So I wasn't quite sure where this one was going to go but I knew that I wanted to try and use the project life cards as they were intended instead of cutting them to pieces so I'm happy with the way that this has turned out so I'm just looking through the 6x6 paper pad for any little pieces in there that I could cut out and use as little embellishments on the page and yeah, so just cutting that, I've got a little camera there that I wanted to use and there wasn't much else in there that was predominantly, I wanted to keep this one predominantly pink with some little accents of turquoise. So if you hear some banging around in the background, my son is putting away the dishes at the moment and he's not doing it very quietly. So I'm in another room with my door shut far away and I can hear him banging everything. So hopefully you won't hear that, but if you do, that's what's going on in my house at the moment. So just looking through these sticker sheets as well to see what I can pull together and nothing much impresses me. Um, I keep going back looking, you know, when you go back and you look again and again and again in the hopes that something might materialize that you didn't see before, but no, nope, nothing did. And I even pulled out, he just got a bit of a glimpse of it, um, a Heidi Swap sticker sheet and thought I might be able to use that, but I put that one back. So I'm just using a couple of rub-ons at the moment. So the top there had this nice little gold rub-ons they weren't really dark so you can't see them um, that well but you can see them which is a good thing and I have pulled a couple of um, die cut elements out as well so you are fabulous little card and the lovely with the hearts so I'm adding them for a little bit of contrast and the black um, the photo of my daughter she's got dark hair and the background's quite dark so that um, adds another little dark element to the left hand side of the page so just having a look and I've added some of uh, sticker hearts at the top and there was a nice aqua love heart and I'm just trying to work out where I want to place that for the rub on and I like it there on the left hand corner so I've just rubbed those on and I must say that they are beautiful 
rub-ons so they come very easy um, a lot of rub-ons that I have used I have had to rub and rub and rub and rub and rub and still they still don't come off properly but these ones here hardly had to put any pressure on and they came off beautifully so I was very impressed with that and I'm sorry that I'm off screen a tiny little bit there but I am just adding a couple of little flower um, rub-ons to the page so just adding some little accents of that aqua so just looking through that sticker sheet book again and you can't really see me doing that but I just pulled off a lighter pink love heart that was getting a little bit lost down there and um, used a darker pink one so that stands out more and sticking that you are fabulous little card down and grabbing this um, sticker it says pretty and I'm popping that one up on some foam tape and as well as this one here that says love that's going up on some foam tape as well so that I have a few little uh, different dimensions to the page so a few little different heights um, help to make the page um, you know give it some visual interest rather than it looking all flat so the same as that lovely there and then I have just grabbed these little crystals from Prima and they weren't the right colour blue so I knew that I had some in my stash for ages and I have used those of these pink and clear ones so as you could see I tried to get it off the backing sheet but it wouldn't come it was stuck like super glue so I'm just adding a few of these little gems to various places on the layout and then I think I'm done and I should have just stopped there but I didn't I pulled out my paint and I must say that the end photos look worse than the layout does now so I've mixed up some paint and it's quite water-based and when I flick it around they spread um, pretty quickly and they spread very wide so it looks a little bit of a hot mess and I add a little bit of shading around the page and the photos were taken immediately after I've finished this layout um, I'm on a bit of a tight uh, time frame today and so therefore I needed to get the photos done as soon as the layout was finished whereas sometimes I normally wait until things are dry so um, this time around for me the photos don't actually look like the finished layout so when it actually was dried up it's not as dark so because I had used a lot of water um, the page was actually quite wet which makes it look a lot darker than it actually is so that's a warning it isn't actually as bad as it looks so I might have to actually take another photo and I will um, post that one on the Nicole Jones 911 um, page when I upload this video eventually so I've got a few in line before this I think I'm about eight layouts ahead which is awesome because um, quite often the only time I get to do some scrapbooking is on a Saturday or a Sunday afternoon so it's actually nice to have some ready to go so that if life happens and I can't quite get to make a layout then you guys aren't missing out and I'm not worrying about that so all is well so you can see I'm just adding um, some shading with the paint and like I said it looks very dark the gray looks very dark but you really can't can hardly notice it when it's dry so adding a little bit of Heidi Swap mist as well um, because the paint looked quite washed out so just adding a little bit of that and it's done so I'm just showing you some close-ups now and I hope that you have enjoyed this process video another quick one for me and thank you for stopping by. I'll see you next time. Bye.